This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the European and U.S. central bank, central banks rather, want to put interest rate cuts in September, okay? And do I believe these cuts are warranted? No, I do not, because inflation, in my opinion, is totally out of control. But I believe that the American Central Bank, United States Central Banks, and the European Central Banks feel forced to do it, maybe pressure from Biden and, and, and uh, the government, because... The economy is in trouble. The economy is in trouble. And the European banks and the American banks are hanging on by their fingernails. And the higher interest rates is creating more pressure for them. If they're able to justify cutting the interest rates in September, that would release some pressure off of the United States banks and the European banks. And also, it would take some pressure off of the bad actors naked shorting AMC and GME all over the world because the naked shorters they take the, the AMC and GME FTDs and they send them overseas where all of a sudden the FINRA claim they don't have any jurisdiction over them, which is absolute nonsense to me because the conspiracy to rob retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the law initiated on american soil so if the crime initiated here they can't just send the ftds and then friend will claim that we don't count them anymore we no longer have jurisdiction over them anymore but that's what they're doing but it goes back to the interest rates they cut the interest rates it takes pressure off these criminals who are naked shorting amc naked shorting gme and naked shorting other stocks but Here's the thing. They have to balance it out. They're going to have to justify the rate cut. But if inflation is still out of control, and even if they put in bad numbers, they still might not be able to justify the rate cuts to save the banks. Okay? Because that's really what they want to do. They want to save the economy. They want to take the pressure off the banks in the United States and in Europe. And by taking the pressure off the banks, the United States and Europe, they're taking the pressure off of the naked shorters. You're taking the pressure off of the naked shorters. But in my opinion, and I'm not trying to buy, hold, or sell any stock, all that's going to do is just give them a little more time. They created billions of counterfeit AMC shares, billions of counterfeit GME shares. So reducing the interest rate might give them more time, but eventually they're going to have to close those positions one way or another. Whether it's six months from now, 12 months from now, and once again, I'm not trying to buy, hold, or sell any stock, but I have no problem holding for 12 more months, 18 more months, 24 more months. You know why? Because they kept me in this place so long that I learned how to trade. So I can make money and hold on to those shares and keep buying more for another 10 years with no problem whatsoever. So in my opinion... The only reason the central banks in the United States and the central banks in Europe want to cut the interest rates in September is to take the pressure off the banks and give them more a long opportunity to try to fix their problems and to help the naked shorters fix their problems also. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the European Central Bank and the United States Central Bank are trying to cut interest rates in September to help the bank stay afloat and to help the GME AMC naked shorters. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.